It will be hard for the former interior minister to avoid the trial in Catania with the majority of the Senate voting in favor. Just one month ago, a Senate committee voted to strip Salvini of his immunity. It opened the way for him to stand trial, and it wasn't a decision that was contested by the League senators. They voted to win popular support ahead of key regional elections in Emilia-Romagna. Salvini has been charged of illegally detaining over 100 migrants on board the Gregorio Goretti Coscard vessel for several days last July. This is not the first time the former interior minister is being investigated for allegedly kidnapping migrants. More recently, magistrates in the city of Palermo asked Parliament for the authorization to continue an investigation against the former minister on suspicion of kidnapping more than 160 migrants who had been rescued by the Spanish charity boat Open Arms. Declaring Italian ports closed was one of Salvini's first decisions when he was in office, making these investigations as well as standoffs with rescue ships quite a regular thing. Last year, in a similar case involving the Diciotti Coast Guard ship, the Senate blocked the magistrate's request to put him on trial, thanks to the support given by the five-star senators. After being nominated in more than 10 lawsuits, Salvini is quickly inheriting the legacy left by Silvio Berlusconi as being one of Italy's political leaders most involved in legal proceedings. After losing the key local ballot in Emilia-Romagna, Salvini is moved to go to trial acting as the martyr of the current government's decisions could prove fatal for his political career. In fact, the risk is that he might lose the right to run in the next general election. Giorgio Orlandi for you. Euronews, Rome.